Welcome to Crockpot Tuesday. Today is going to be an e Oh yeah, drop everything on the floor. Oh my gosh. Today is going to be an easy episode. I'm going to be making some blueberry cobbler. So I'm going to start with spraying my crock pot with some spray. Some Pam cooking spray. This is going to be a blueberry cobbler, so <clears throat> it's going to be nice and easy. It's dump and go. We're going to start with one bag of frozen blueberries. Put the whole bag in there. Get the magic spoon out. Magic spoon. Magic spoon. Kind of like place them around there. Nice and flat. <clears throat> All right. Then we're going to add some. You could add um, a white cake mix. But I'm going to add the apple cinnamon muffin mix. Because that's all I had on my shelf. In my pantry. So... We're gonna work it with that. I've never done it with it. So this is from Dollar Tree. Apple cinnamon muffin mix. But hey, it's cake, it works. I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over. Sprinkle it even evenly. All over the blueberries. After that, you're going to take the magic spoon and kind of get all the lumps, if there's any, out of there. There we go. So now that they're all coated, there we go. I melted four tablespoons of butter. I'm just going to drizzle that on top. all over the place because once that cooks it's going to help from drying and going to give it a wonderful flavor now this is nice and easy mm. nice and delicious and you could pretty much do it with any kind of fruit you want. You could do this with another kind of uh, fruit like in a can, like cherry filling or apple filling. And that's it, guys. Look at that. It's done. Ooh, that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to set it on high for four hours. Or you could set it on low for six. So high on four hours. There we go. Four hours. And then you wait. Welcome back. It's been four hours now. Time to open the crock pot. Okay, so I have not opened this in four hours. You do not open it in for four hours. You let it sit there do its thing and now it's time to check it out Ooh. let's check it oh that looks so good let's get a better view of that shall we zoom in mmm So I'm going to scoop that beautiful cobbler in a bowl. Let's get a bowl. I'm going to use my magic spoon to 
kind of take the sides. Oh my gosh, this looks good. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Ooh, that looks delicious. It's going to take a little bit for now. So I'm going to have it tonight with Jay when he gets home from work. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to take some Cool Whip from the freezer. And I'm going to add a scoop in there with it. While it's cooling off in the bowl, I'm going to take the rest and put it in a... Transfer it into a another, another container. Because you don't want it sitting in the crock pot for too long. Because then it's going to stick to the sides. Oh gosh, this looks so good, guys. You don't even know. It looks good. And my, my house smells delicious. Absolutely delicious. Okay. So it's time to try it. A little bit of a cool whip. A little bit of that uh, batter and blueberry. Mmm. Mmm. Not too sweet. Very yummy. Mm. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Nice and easy to make, guys. You could uh, head out, go do your errands, have it uh, doing its thing in the crock pot early in the morning. Mmm. So I have a little bit of the strudel and a little bit of the blueberries and whipped mm. Mm. cream mm. delicious mm. Mm. oh this is good mm. This is so easy to make, and it's delicious. Mm. Mm. Worth a try. Try it. You'll love it.